All right. Hi everyone. Hi Sidare. Hi Ina. Okay, let's get started. All right, so let me just read just these palette come which is Hi Petka Anita. Should you call you, should I call you Petka or Anita? Um yeah, this I was looking for my clamp. Alright. We got some Hey Maya. No, I'm not calling you daddy. Petka, okay. Um, okay. What first? So how are you guys? Hey Mike. Hey Kinga. Hi Stephanie.
Hey Fabrizio! Hey, was für Fun. Um, for this painting, I'm going, going to um, trying to figure a way to create um, a circle. I thought of a circle. I want to to like sort of. Have her rest on some kind of circular mirror. So I'm gonna draw the circle first, see if it works, and uh, we'll, we'll see. So I just need to move this so that you can see. So this painting, I, mean, I don't really know what I'm going for, except like the pose and the, the figure. I didn't really start with a very specific idea of what I was going for. So I'm like... I'm like readjusting as I go. Uh, yeah, so you don't really see, but I was like uh, holding a 
tiny piece of it's my plumb line and I put a little white pencil or whatever in there to create a circle I, I don't know if it's uh, you can't really see it I'm looking for just a small line I don't want to Maybe there's a defect in the paint here but I don't uh, I don't need it to be too um, too visible it's okay it's just to give me an, an idea No, I'm not blazing, not now. So I want this to be like a, a huge mirror, some sort. Of Hey, no, no. So, like, I, I sort of see a circle. I, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure it out as we as we speak. Some sort of huge circle frame. Hey, yes, yeah. Salut, George. Thank you. 
Hey, fusionists. No, that wasn't glaze. Uh, that was not a glaze. On this, like, on the, the first, this was a uh, oiling out. You can look at the previous stream where I explained what it is. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think about about this circle idea. So I'm not worried about this background because it had to go anyway. Should have thought about this earlier, but I like didn't have didn't have a clue, so
All right, sorry, I missed a lot of uh, what you guys were saying. I'm gonna try to catch up. The focus does draw to the circle, yeah, and I want to like, I have this clear cross-like composition and I want to keep it geometric but sort of um, cut the cut the symmetry a little bit So, I'm mm, not sure yet, and uh, I'm trying to figure it out. So you almost see nothing right here, it's very, very... Hey Vox! Sorry, missed, I'm, I'm so late. No, because you won't see anything in the mirror. Hey Carl! No, I'm not using natural light. It's uh, it's the evening here. You won't know what her arm is resting on because, like, you cannot see, but you can at least the mirror is going to give uh, an impression of space because, like, right now, this blank background that I put because I didn't have, um, I, I just wanted to fill it with something. This blank color is not giving the is not giving an impression of space, but at least with this frame, it's going to be more a frame than a circle, than a mirror. Could be anything. Could be just a frame with a black void. Whatever. And it's going to bring the idea of space because I'm going to bring shadows here, there, a shadow of the mirror itself, shadows here, here. And it's going to put her into some kind of space. So you'll start to understand that, well, she's probably uh, re resting on a wall or whatever. We'll see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. Cannot hurt, right?
Thank you, girl. Wow. Got a tube of yellow ochre in the, the thing like look it's it's uh pierced from the inside and the, the paint just Pushes through. Look. That was disgusting. I hate this. I need to find a new new tube. Put it in a something else. Now both are uh, both burnt sienas and burnt umber are um, needed, just like for every type of skin tone, like white skin tones or black skin tones are exactly the same. And they both require burnt sienna and burnt umber. It's just the color of melanin. It's the same for everyone. Just need to vary the amount of yellow and, and red. But other than that, it's the same amount for everyone.
which has a lot on our perception of race and, and skin color because it's basically exactly the same pigments for every human being which is kind of cool it's just not the same values all right need to go wash my hands and we can start So I don't know if it will work, I'm just going to try and we'll see. Hey, medicine man. Salut Chris
Euh, quel format tu, tu veux dire quoi par quel format Le format de mon... Euh, ben, je, je l'ai... Il n'y a pas de format, c'est une photo que j'ai prise. Donc, je sais pas, je sais pas trop quoi, ce que tu veux. J'ai imprimé une photo pour le portrait qui était au, à la même taille, à part ça... Euh... Hey James.
Yeah, exactly. It's uh, Uroboros. Well, good for you, Fabrizio. You could. You're welcome to come and say hi. I wonder if he used raw umber. Um, yes, uh, I used. Uh, if I used raw umber at all, no, not raw umber. Raw umber is more uh, orangey greenish. It's not needed. Uh, no, not 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 greenish, but it's more. Um, Uh, not uh, orange. Uh, I mean, it's more cool blue greenish, sort of like in comparison. I know it's not green at, at all, but like compared to burnt umber, which is strongly um, reddish, not strong. That's how I think. Longer is more. Uh, hold on. Let's see, I, I've got some raw under on my head here. So I'm going to show you the difference between raw under and burnt under. Um, you will see. why I, I kind of call it greenish. It's not greenish, but like... Uh, shoot, the camera angle is... Ah. So this on the left is raw umber mixed with white. Um, it, the color is so bad on this, maybe on this one. Uh, it's hard to show. It's hard to show you the difference. So this is burnt umber and this is raw umber. So I don't necessarily need raw umber. You don't need raw umber for skin tones. You need burnt umber. Well, you can use it, but you're going to add more orange to make it um, look more skin tonish. Well, it's it's useful for uh, creating creating uh, warm grays. Like most gray is is uh, um, often warmer than what we think. And for these raw umber, is is kind of uh, is good. Like for like the 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 gray parts of the white of the eyes, for instance. Things like this, but it's it's funny because raw umber is some kind of weird mix between um, between something reddish and and, and green. 
but in, in fact it's uh, very neutral. So this is uh, good for this kind of stuff. It's hard to describe, but it has like the undertone of of um, burnt umber. Well, sometimes you need a murky, dirty color. Hey Vicky! Uh, well, it's not, yeah, it's not a bad color, it's just not useful for a lot of things except uh, after like the, the first, uh, the, like the very first layers. Like it's very useful for imprimatura, it's very useful for undertones. But other than that, uh, it's uh, once you really go into the painting and really start painting in full colors, it's not very useful anymore. But at a certain point, it's, uh, it's very useful. Okay. Well, it's not a mirror yet, it's just a frame so far. But the tricky part is coming because I got to uh, figure out, like, <laughs> this was just tiny bits of sort of a golden frame that I have to kind of make out entirely in my head. And now uh, I've got to figure out how the shadows would work on this, which is not easy, because uh, Hey Eugenia! And I've got to re to remember what I did. You have to follow. You have to follow the geometry of what I did. It's not easy. I hope I can get it right.
this ivory black dress is still not dry from the last time. Have to be careful. So basically, for the shadows of this golden frame. So before, I mean, it is still very block, block-like, but before this was my highlight, like very yellow, like yellow ochre, pure yellow ochre was my highlight, and uh, I've got to sort of get rid of like half of my uh, highlight palettes, half of the lightest part of what I had. Like I had a few colors and like this becomes sort of highlight, highlight-ish, but it's still shadow. So the lightest of my shadow colors becomes the new highlight and the shadow colors stay the same. The range is more narrow, of course. And I've got to figure out... is my new highlight. I'm gonna, so the shadow is gonna cast here and maybe like it's going to be back to light right there. Uh,
I'm making it sound entirely in my head, so... I mean, I've got a, like, a, a picture of a, of a wooden frame of my computer here. Uh, but, uh, it's completely lit, so got to sort of transcribe all the information. So, this is why I'm not talking a lot. Because this, this is the kind of thing that's very... Uh, very demanding. Painting like Da Vinci, yeah. Spent a life uh, experimenting with drawing and observing stuff. Then do uh, an imprimatura with raw umber or burnt umber. Then do a grisaille and lots and lots of layers. Very fine layers, but it's going to be tough. Oh, greetings, Costa Rica.
I think it's uh, about Da Vinci. I think he was also idealist in the sense of uh, like Platonic philosophy too. Yeah, it's gonna. This is what I wanted. Uh, I wanted. I wanted this pose. So first, when I first started doing the painting, I focused solely on the pose. But it ended up making her look like she was uh, sort of floating in the void. And. Uh, I didn't necessarily know what I was going to do first. Well, yeah, I thought about this to mirrors, uh, objects in the mirror, but the thing you have to consider is that um, you wouldn't see much in a mirror with the person standing so straightforward in front of it. And I don't want to distract too much. So the only thing I'm going to do is um, um, use light, sort of light, and I'm going to create something very, um, uh, very atmospherical, but not really objects, or at least I haven't thought about any object that could um, fit in this. Uh, in this situation.
Hey, Carrie. All right. Uh, yeah, still shadows. Sorry, guys. I'm really not talking a lot today. Uh, this is really intensive in terms of focus. Um, it's not that I don't really want to talk, it's just like it's taking so much. Um, I'm basically making lights and shadows out of my own head. Uh, it's a lot to take.
Wait. Uh, I hate losing stuff. Oh, okay.
All right, sorry, uh, I was out for so long, uh, but I'm back. I'm gonna try reading what you guys are saying. So I hope you were... ...independent enough to uh, create a conversation yourself without me we'll fix that later it's not perfect but it's it's gonna be a first first layer and I'll fix it Fix that later. All right. It may take away from. Well, the, this will be a mirror. Like, there's no reflection. She's hiding it entirely. So it will be just uh, pretty much the same color with just a vague. Um, uh, the light source is going to reflect vaguely sort of um,
Nigel. We'll see. Thank you, Carl. I don't know about what's in the mirror, I'm just trying to think about what it could be, how it could be like. basically no reflection I, I know I don't know to be honest I don't have a clue <laughs>
this would make this would make something like this the mirror idea so it's just vaguely indicating what what's happening there without really uh, telling anything it's just light Or at least it's the idea at the moment that this could change. Yeah, so I need to still redo the entire inside of the mirror and this here. So uh, it's pretty it's a pretty large painting, so I want to show you. Uh, still here is some correction. Uh, here too. Well this is the idea. I don't know, I'm still still thinking about it, so
I see the light on the forehead and the light uh... oh no it's if, if, because it's not the same it's just like this is the first painting so I, I haven't worked on this a lot uh, but this will be redone but I'm I was still focusing more on the entire uh, on the entire composition and yeah the the portrait is not finished at all I mean for some people it might look kind of near the end or whatever but for me at least it's not finished and it's far from being finished so yeah don't uh, Don't look at the portrait. So yeah, there's probably lots of things that are wrong. But yeah, there would be no reason for me to do what you just said. Really. Uh, yes, but it's still, um, I've done only, if you count uh, what I did last, the last stream, well, this is just one layer of paint, this was my first painting, and I generally do five for the portrait, and um, well, this is first painting around there, I redid the eye, Part of the nose and part of this here uh, last uh, last stream, but like all of this here, the hands, all of this is just one first one layer. So this will have to move. But like I don't necessarily do five layers everywhere, but at least on the portrait I do. Checking my composition right here. Table. That's what I was looking for.
Yeah, five or six layers. Uh, at least for the portrait, not all over. I mean, like generally for hands, I do two. For the background, it's usually two. I usually do one background for when I don't really know. And then I refine it because like lots of uh, things. So I have like, one sort of draft background. And one more refined background. Um, some parts I'll, I'll just do one. Like the fabric is just one layer. So I think it will stay that way. Still not dry, which is weird because I've made this uh, a few a week ago. No, liquid doesn't make paint chalky. It makes uh, it makes it dry semi matte, which means it's it doesn't uh, dry glossy. I think it's what you mean. It gives it a semi matte finish. So it's a little bit less reflection, but colors are end up being a little bit washed out what i don't like about liquid is that uh, it makes colors way too transparent for my taste i don't mind transparency but i i want it only when i need them when I need it. And the problem with liquid is that I uh, kind of have to deal with it. So I don't really enjoy liquid for that. I'm going live twice a week uh, if, uh, if I don't have any, uh, any other uh, things to do. It's uh, on Saturdays at 8, like this time, and uh, Wednesdays, every time. So if I'm not there, I'll leave a post on Facebook so you can follow me uh, on Facebook, like the page description, uh, the, the link should be in the description. And yeah, it's twice a week. Generally, I speak more. I'm a little bit more talkative and I interact a little bit more. Um, sorry, I didn't have uh, didn't have much time to to interact with you guys. So I was very really focused on this. Uh, this will I will make another layer for refining but i'm gonna be waiting for it to dry a little bit it's gonna be much easier to refine this the frame in this part everywhere it was just uh, today i didn't want to go very far in the detailing because i first want to see the structure if i like this this type of structure and the, the way to know is to have it for a few days. I'm gonna leave it like this and keep looking at it for a while. And who knows, maybe I will just abandon this idea and have another one. We'll see. So I'm not even sure 
if I will keep the wooden frame, the golden frame, sorry. No, liquid is great for glazing because it's very transparent. So, yes, uh, it's a great thing for glazing. I don't recommend anything for portrait. Portrait is a mix of all the all the techniques and methods. So you shouldn't say, "Oh, I'm gonna be glazing in this portrait." You you, you glaze if you need it, and if you don't need to, you don't. Um, Yeah, I like the addition of the hair too. Like sometimes she wears them like this, but um, she didn't when we had this uh, photo shoot. So I just had to recreate them. the right arm the frame here you mean? yeah there's still some transitions that needs to be done but I'm not gonna go into it today
Yeah, I also do like this the circle. So I want to keep the circle. I'm thinking about what do I put in the reflection. But I quite like sort of I want something a little bit more dark here. Kind of reflecting the dress. A bit more dark. You don't have super dark. It's like too greenish. Or just less greenish. And sort of very brushed out, like sort of like this. Yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Sorry guys, there's not a lot of painting today. It's a lot of uh, deciding, but it's, that's part of the part of the job. It takes a lot of thinking, and sometimes uh, it's depressing. But I, I can spend uh, an entire day not touching a brush and just looking and thinking and, and making plans and changing plans so you wouldn't say that this is how a product productive painter is supposed to to paint you would figure that a painter is supposed to be always painting but a lot of it is also just uh, just looking and, and if you don't look enough you're uh, you're missing something in your in your painting for sure I'm, I'm looking, so sorry. <laughs> this is to be a, a looking kind of stream. Yeah, this necklace is important. This necklace is important, so it's kind of so. Of course, the focus is, is given by the circle, so it's one circle, and of course, like you have a like the the most important circle is given by this hairdress and, and the hair too, which like frame the portrait. Like it's like the portrait has so many frames around. Like the portrait's there at eye level, like dead center. It's not couldn't be more centered. Um, so one first circle with the hairdress. Next the, the hair. Next this new frame. So you're right, go there and then it's driven down sort of by the the shape of the of the dress, the position of the hands and the necklace, and it's then driven in this part. So it's like the first third. It's right here, the second third. It's right here. You're driven there, but you like you have to see it entirely. No, my camera is not. It's quite a big painting. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this this shape at least. But I'm wondering what I put inside. That's my question. No, not necessarily fan brushes. I, I made an entire video on glazing. Have you not seen it? Watched it all in your mind?
No, no. The, the arms and hands are not finished at all. And uh, and there, it's uh, it's because uh, there was uh, the, the paint is turned uh, dead because you know, it's it's been absorbed by the layer behind. So it looks uh, it looks light, but it's not. It's just matte. You've watched, but you still don't know how to glaze. Well, just take some transparent paint and apply it lightly on on dried layer of paint, and that's that's it. That's glazing. Maybe if you don't um, know how to glaze, it's because you don't have a reason to. And uh, you first need a reason for for glazing. You don't want to glaze just because uh, you've heard that it's a good technique. You want to glaze because you need transparency. Uh, I don't have to accept supply donations because no one makes me donations. I mean, I have donations in in the form of uh, money that people sometimes send me on TP or on PayPal or Streamlabs. But no, I don't have material donations. Yes, yes, it is in Ouroboros. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. So thank you for being here and uh, and witnessing this not very productive uh, painting session. But I had to I had to look more than paint today. So yeah, sometimes. Sometimes you just have to look. It's a lesson for today. So thanks for being here, guys. You're awesome. 
Uh, take care and have a fun, have a lot of fun painting and drawing or whatever you do. And I will see you on Wednesday. Bye, guys.